By now, time to take the pulse of Europe's biggest football clubs. Yes, that's right. Real Madrid, they've proven they can make more money than anyone else in European football for a sixth consecutive year. Hosting last year's Champions League final helped Spanish club raise revenue almost 10% to $600 million. The biggest movers on the list, Manchester City jumping to 11th, making it seven English clubs in the top 20. But without including what these clubs actually spend and with European football's governing body about to force clubs to live within their means, is it really fair to call a list that accounts for only revenue a rich list? So to discuss this, I'm joined live in the studio by one of the accountants who put that report together, Deloitte's Mark Roberts. Deloitte, what do you make of that proposition? Not, uh, it's not really a rich list, is it? I think in terms of what, <laughs> in terms of what the list is all about, you know, the, the, the most visible thing for people to measure football mm. clubs across on a level playing field is the revenue that they generate so that's that's hence that's the that's the way the list works and it's very much a football day-to-day -day operations of a football club and how much they can generate from revenue both Real Madrid Barcelona leading the money league how much is that because Spanish clubs can actually negotiate their own TV rights deals yeah absolutely I think the uh, the individual selling of, of Spanish clubs in in their in their territory has a big influence particularly on uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona mm. but I think what you what you said there was the, the strength in depth is obviously with the English clubs who do a collective selling deal so seven out of the top 20 so that that strength in depth does come from England if you look at the Spanish situation top two yes but then you know very much of a big gap to the other Spanish clubs so over the next few years we're, we're gonna see a bit of a bit of a tussle then between Real Madrid and Barca yeah I think so I think for the next sort of couple of years we see don't certainly see Barcelona challenging Real Madrid particularly now that they've uh, you know negotiated a quite lucrative shirt sponsorship mm. deal um, but it will all come down to success on the pitch and how far each club progresses in the uh, in the European Champions League. A Man City progressed pretty nicely. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, obviously, we've seen the new owners come in, mm. and that's brought in a number of commercial deals. We think that um, you know the next jump for Manchester City will definitely be qualification for Champions League. If they can achieve that, then I think that's potentially to kick on into the t into the top ten. I think the, 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 the probably clubs in the top 10, Juventus, no Champions League this year, so potentially dropping out of the top 10. We might see Tottenham Hotspur creep into that top 10 next year with their, uh, with their European campaign still going on at the moment. What about Liverpool? Liverpool, yeah, potentially. They've got the, they've got the new sponsorship deal, uh, shirt front sponsorship deal, which will see their commercial revenues increase. Also, you know, potentially increase from overseas broadcasting that the Premier League clubs have got a new broadcasting deal for overseas uh, media. So, again, Liverpool, the potential uplift in revenue, but they will need to uh, qualify for Europe, I think, as to, to retain their top, top ten spot. Man U, Manchester United, the outlook for them? Absolutely. I think, you know, still, still really strong, still one of, you know, achieving sort of really broad you know revenue growth in all three areas so I think uh, the next sort of stage for them again will be progress in Champions League and the, and the sort of broadcast revenue that that uh, that helps them to to generate and, and potentially some more commercial deals there and a quick round up of the Italian clubs Italian clubs interesting you know still struggling on in terms of match day you know match day there the the three clubs in the in the top 20 they they achieve sort of 15 20 percent of their mm. revenue from match day which is really low and so i think the next sort of you know kick on for italian clubs will be stadium investment there you go thanks very much indeed mark roberts appreciate it from deloitte too thanks very much for coming in